Hey there, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic that has been buzzing in the smartphone world: Snapdragon vs MediaTek. In this video, we are comparing two of the giants of the mobile accessory industry. Both the company offer a wide range of processor for different level of devices, from entry level to high end. And choosing between them can be a tough decision. So we are here to help you understand. Which one might be the best fit for your needs and preferences, and we will be provide an in-depth analysis of both processor. So let's get started. What is a SoC? A system on a chip is likely a tiny computer packed into one a small chip. It has everything a device need to work, such as a brain, CPU, GPU, memory, and connection like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It is used in phone, TV, and other gadget to make them run well and do different tasks. SoC make devices smaller, faster, and use less energy, which is why they are so important in modern technology. Starting with Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, it is used in most high-end and flagship smartphone. They are generally known for their performance and power efficiency. They are also well supported by developers, so you will find that more apps and games are optimized for Snapdragon devices. One of the Snapdragon key strength is its advanced AI engine. This enables the feature like enhancing photography, voice recognition, and better overall device optimization for personalized user experience. On the other side, we have MediaTek processor. MediaTek is an another major player of mobile chipset market. Its chipset are found in wide range of smartphones from budget to high end. MediaTek processor offer a competitive performance and value of money, making them popular among budget conscious user. MediaTek has also made significant advancement in camera technology, supporting high resolution sensor, AI power enhancement, and advanced camera feature. For an example. Dimensity 9200 Plus, Dimensity 9200, 9000 Plus, and some more Dimensity's processor supports 320 megapixel camera sensor. But till now, none of a single processor of Snapdragon supports 320 megapixel camera sensor. There was a time when MediaTek known for their heating and slowing performance. Company used it for cost cutting, and no one demand this processor. But after 2018, MediaTek bring best processor and control over heating issue, and change the game. And as a result, now its chip is powering over one in three smartphones globally. While in the other hand, Snapdragon has also the track record of heating issue. In Snapdragon Triple Eight and Eight Gen One, there was heating issue, or you may call it due to Samsung fabrication. But Snapdragon took good decision to choose TSMC as its manufacturer. And that's the result. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and 8 Gen 2 has no heating issue. If you ask me that which processor should be considered before 2018, then no doubt I would suggest the Snapdragon. But now the game has totally been changed. Both the MediaTek and the Snapdragon are giving neck-to-neck -neck competition in performance. But you will see that. Snapdragon are used in most of the high-end and flagship smartphone because it is slightly more well supported by developers in comparison with MediaTek. And the another weak region is its own in-house Adreno GPU. These GPU are designed to provide a smooth visual, supports high refresh rate display, and enables advanced gaming experience on mobile devices. But it is not that MediaTek GPU is bad. It is also doing very good. For for an example, Immortalis. G715 and G710 are giving top-notch performance. In pricing, the case is completely changed. The Snapdragon devices are generally more expensive than MediaTek devices. This is because the Snapdragon chipset are more advanced and use more expensive component. And the another con is that there is very less option in a Snapdragon processor in budget range. For an example, if your budget is under twenty thousand, then there is very few processor like a Snapdragon six ninety five, six eighty, seven seven eight G, and recently launched the Snapdragon four Gen two. But on the another side, it is not with MediaTek. You have a lot of option in MediaTek processor. For an example, Dimensity seven hundred, eight one zero, nine twenty, one zero eight zero, six zero two zero, six zero eight zero, sixty one hundred plus seventy fifty, eighty fifty, and a bunch of G series. And under ten thousand, 
you have p series and a series processor in every budget section you will find a best processor so which is better snapdragon or mediatek it really depends on your needs and budget if you are looking for a best possible performance and don't having a budget problem then a snapdragon devices is the way to go but if you are on a budget and want the best possible performance then mediatek devices is a great option i hope you found this video helpful if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and recommendation and if you have any question please leave in the comment below so that's for today video thank you